Hi, I'm Tommy. Welcome. This will be an installation video. The diamond steel track onto an Orion 8 inch Newtonian using this kit that I found from RV Focus a company in Spain. It's a two piece kit. You get this outer piece here that matches the base plate of the diamond steel track and as you can see looking at it on edge we can get a lot of light leaks there so this base plate fits perfectly onto this outer piece and then to replace the metal reinforcement that Orion gives you with the original focuser there's a um, similar mating piece that goes on the inside of the telescope to replace this piece and the holes match so if this were a sky watcher all I'd have to do is put the screws in. However, two of my holes don't line up. Two of them line up perfectly. So I'm going to have to drill two new holes here. And so are you. So, didn't come with instructions, but I'm going to help you. First thing, when you have to drill, get your mirror as far away as possible. Secondary in the spider, over there. Primary mirror cell and the mirror over there, safe. Okay. Other thing too, you uh, are going to have to clean the inside, but just to not make a mess of uh, metal everywhere, I would put a rag, I've got a small uh, washcloth in here, to catch the metal shavings. Okay. Wish me luck. Let's see what happens. That was easy. Okay. Well, probably the easiest thing now, I wanted to make sure I, uh, I had the clearance I needed. So, right up here is a little bit of a, a lip of the OTA. So, I wanted to make sure before I drilled those holes that I would be able to have clearance but since the barrel of the focuser is that size and the hole is this size, that little eyebrow there will not interfere with anything. And I could show you uh, that inner piece, I suppose. But let's just see how this goes. This is exciting. Check the other one. Okay, so holes are a success that will work. Now, on the other end of these barrel nuts are the other two screws like this that come with the kit. They're longer than the uh, originals with the focuser and it looks like they're going to be perfect fit so it's almost one okay 
the screw. You see how much not only safer but easier this is having the spider and the secondary out of your way. You can uh, work more freely here. Okay, you ready? This is the inner piece. It's got recesses for these uh, supplied bolts to fit into. And then there's my new holes. If, uh, if you have a sky watcher, supposedly these will all match for you. But since this is an Orion, but uh, an 8 inch telescope, 200 millimeter, it's the same contour. Holes can be drilled, contour, that's important, it's perfect, I'm happy. So, look at this fit. Here's the make it no uh, light leaks version, and this is the stock piece. Look at that fit. Okay. So. Wonderful. You know, I think I'm going to clean those up a little bit. And get my file. I'll be back. Okay, back at you. Half round file. Let's clean these up a little bit. Okay. And like I said, good to have a, a rag or a towel inside here. So Next step, you uh, sit into those recesses. Good. Okay, next piece. Look at that. Okay. So we're going to see if that works. Um, just clamping it down. Um, if not, it might be necessary to make a, a little rubber gasket to go in there. Maybe not. But uh, the original focuser, it, uh, it kind of had a few issues with light leaks, so I made this rubber piece here, cut it out to fit perfectly, and it fixed the light leaks, but being a Crayford focus or even you know tweaking everything uh, it's gonna rub against that and yeah see it can slip so if you just have a small one and a quarter eyepieces and you use it for visual this is probably still fine but uh, if you want to get some of those larger field of view two inch 
eyepieces that uh, most visual people intend to use with them. They bring them and your focuser won't hold it. Uh, that's just going to ruin your whole experience. So, anyway, um, a lot of people, because of heavy imaging train, they'll go to something like uh, a rack and pinion. And I understand that it, it'll uh, carry the weight, it won't slip. But there's the issue of backlash between the, the teeth. They have to have a little bit of play so they don't bind. And uh, backlash can be a, an issue where this is similar to the Crayford style, but uh, somehow the uh, material doesn't slip. So no slippage, no backlash, what more could you ask for? Well, my only issue was, hey wait a minute, what about the light leaks? So, I put something up on cloudy nights, hey, how do you fix light leaks with this awesome focuser? I couldn't find any replies. So I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I found this kit from RB Focus. It's in Spain. It's not going to come right away, but I'm going to do a video and we'll test it out for you. But I might not even need to put rubber under there. It looks really, really well made. I'm pretty impressed. So this piece goes on. guys rest in those channels it gives you the ability to uh, center your focuser if uh, if you've moved the distance on your secondary mirror to the primary you want that focuser to be centered over your mirror but you want your mirror where you want it, so I thought that was pretty impressive that uh, Vader thought of that and it gave you the flexibility to shift that baby back and forth. Not a bad, not a bad plan. That's enough to hold it. And I'm going to leave that a little bit loose. And then put my secondary back in there. I want to make sure I'm uh, I lined up properly with it. So one other thing I'm going to tell you. Once this is all secure here, this goes in there and Two on each side are little grub screws. They give you the Allen wrench. Goes with it. So you can orient this to any position you want. Typically this being the up end. Since it's going to be aimed up rather than have this flat or perpendicular. If it's aimed at this angle you might want to do something like that. So. I might end up doing a little bit, maybe something in there, just for when observing, it's easier to work with your focuser. So I'm going to tighten all this up, but before I do, I want to tell you a couple more things I like about this. This uh, nose piece here also has little grub screws holding it in. You can take this out. You can put in a 48 millimeter for uh, your imaging train, or if you want to shoot wider field or stay more uh, native to the scope, the original focuser is 54 millimeters. I adapted it down 
with this piece here at a 48 for my imaging train. But uh, if you prefer 54 millimeters, you can get 54 or 48 nose pieces that fit in here. So uh, very versatile focuser. I, I like it. And uh, glad I got this one. When I get this all together, I'll show you some pictures. Still an amateur at uh, astrophotography, but uh, pretty versed at tinkering. And uh, I got this scope used. It was well used. Um, not blaming the focuser. Uh, I know everybody says you get cheap focusers with Newtonians, but honestly, for uh, you know a, a light imaging train, I had. Uh, ASI 290mm Mini uh, combination guide scope and planetary. Put it on here and uh, got a little bit of Saturn, a little bit of Jupiter. Did not come out real good, but uh, I'm liking this Newtonian. It's my first uh, attempt at astrophotography with a Newtonian, and I think I'm going to. Do a couple more tricks to it. I took it apart, cleaned the tube inside and out, washed the mirrors. Um, the uh, the baffle rings actually collect a lot of dirt, so I had to wash these bad boys. But uh, since I got metal shavings in here now. I'm likely to pull it all out again, wash the inside out, make sure it's totally clean before I put my uh, optics back. And these guys, I'm still on the fence. I'm not going to uh, change it out yet, but, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, I'll get back in the field of view. This is my first uh, YouTube video, so bear with me. But uh, likely these will go, and I will flock the inside. And I'm trying to decide on which uh, spider upgrade I want to do right now. So, coming up, watch for it. Thank you.